Hi there everybody, welcome to Andy's Beer Reviews and today we are reviewing this. This is the uh, Trooper Number the Beast um, Premium Ale, 4.7% uh, ABV. This is the 2022 version of it, it's a slightly um, upgraded beer, I think. Uh, Number the Beast, um, classic album from Iron Maiden and this has been brought out to celebrate the, the 40th year 40 years ago I can't believe that I remember getting that when I was a young lad uh, and if you just peel back at the top label there's a little QR code there and you can um, listen to the album on all the modern um, streaming music services Amazon, Spotify, Deezer, all, all those and, and, and many more so if you've never heard the album work it in a bottle just listen to it um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to pour this into my uh, Trooper glass. Did that pop? Yes, it popped. Um, so I had the, uh, the old version of this. Um, I remember it being quite malty. I think those are supposed to be, and I think you do get a little hint of citrus on the old version. Um, but it was a lovely bitter. And I'm desperately trying to remember what I stored it, and I can't remember. It was a, a while ago now. I think in America, I think you do have the number of the beast beer in America. I actually think it's lager. There you go, sit that there. Um, it's a popular beer. It is a popular beer. It's a decent beer. It was a decent beer, not try this, obviously. Uh, I seem to remember. Two years after they brought it out, it was it the sold something like 10 million pints. So we have got there a dark golden beer. It's got a good just off like one finger head. Um, there is a good bit of carbonation in, in there, and there's some carbonation still happening that will keep the, the head afloat. Um, this is my trooper glass and it has got some etching in the bottom. The etching holds onto and generates um, carbonation bubbles. Um, so, so I'll constantly see, should see, carbonation going on for quite a while on there, as it captures the, um, as it captures the bubbles and releases them. Right, let's get a sniff, shall we? I was babbling a bit then. Do apologise. It smells like a t traditional English beer. So you have got that sweet malt. And yeah, you know, you do pick up a little bit of citrus and you, you do pick up that floral note as well, which is in there in those traditional beers. Smells great. Right, taste test. Cheers, everybody. Now I had the old version of this probably just a couple of weeks ago, so I'm just trying to remember that flavour profile. It's very similar. I think if anything, if anything this might be a little bit sweeter. First glug of that beautiful English beer flavour so you get that sweet malt you, there is a nice um, citrus going on in there uh, let it settle for a little while and bam you get hit by a lovely bitterness really nice bitterness that comes with this very easy drinking yeah, flavour wise, it's like a traditional English bitter. Lovely sweet malts, a little bit of citrus. Um, yeah, uh, and flavour wise, that's it. Carbonation still doing its job, keeping the head there. It's got a really nice mouthfeel to it. Um, lovely mouthfeel. Um, it's refreshing. It's actually quite Moorish, and I've got a couple more bottles of this. Now, brewed in Cheshire by Robinsons, so a regional brewer over there. 
Um, they do most of them. Brewdog have now started doing a couple in America. I think I was reading earlier. I think Sweden, there's a brewer in Sweden that started doing a couple of beers for for uh, Fry Maiden as well. Because in B&M paid £1.60 for it, so it's not expensive for a good bottle of beer. Um, really liked it. I think compared to the last one, uh, is a little bit sweeter and I think I'm getting just a little bit more bitterness so it's a little bit better hopped a little bit more malt in it giving it that sweetness very nice beer Ooh, fly. Uh, very nice beer I am going to score this an 8 out of 10 8 out of 10 for managed beer reviews whatever you're drinking tonight please enjoy it remember if you do around here please subscribe click the uh, little bell button if you want daily notifications of when uh, beer reviews go live and please comment share and like it's all much appreciated until the next review cheers everybody